Hello everybody and welcome to Infinite Facebook Catalog feed. In this video, we are going to talk about how to set up this app. So let's get started. First of all, make sure you have signed up in businessfacebook.com. You can see I already have created my account here. You can see catalogs. These are the catalogs that I created previously. Now coming back to the app, click on get started. Here you have two options continue with Facebook and continue without Facebook. I'm going with the first option because it's quite easy and everything is just automated. However, if you want to continue without Facebook, you will have to manually copy the XML file. Right now I'm clicking on continue with Facebook. Here you have to select the first option opt in to all current and future businesses then click on continue then on save and then on got it. Now you have to link your Facebook business account here. Then you have to select the catalog ID. These are the catalogs that I created previously. Right now I'm creating a new catalog. So I'm clicking on create catalog. Here you have to write your catalog name and click on save. You can see it has been connected successfully. Now let's click on it and then you have to click on continue. You have to fill out this required information and here you have to write a name for your feed. Then you have to select the Shopify market. As our app creates multiple catalogs, so you can create multiple feeds with multiple markets. Each feed supports one market. Right now I'm creating a feed for the United States. I'm selecting the country. Make sure you select the language and currency accordingly. Then you have to select the product ID format. You can either select global format, SKU as product ID or variant ID as product ID. I'm selecting global format. Then you have to select inventory management. I'm going with the default settings. You can select whatever you require. Then you have to select the source management. I'm going with all products. Then you can see product title, product description, variant submission and all these features and you can customize them according to your requirements. Then there are some fields that are required. So you have to select them like the Facebook product category, age group, gender and product condition, etc. I'm selecting all of them. After selecting these features, I'm clicking on sync now. Now this is the pricing page. You can see there are three different plans and you can select the plan according to your requirements. These three plans include basic, standard and premium. Right now I'm subscribing the free plan that provides up to 100 products. So I'm clicking on subscribe. You can see the products are being uploaded. Meanwhile, let's move to the business Facebook account. Reload the page. And you can see the new catalog has been added here. Now if I click on commerce manager. You can see the new catalog is here as well. You can see this one generify test catalog. I'm clicking on it. Meanwhile, it's opting. Let's move back to the application. You can see the feed has been created and our total SKUs are 885 and these are the SKUs not products. Now moving back to the commerce manager, I'm clicking on data sources. Here you can see the file is being uploaded, but don't get confused that these are two files. This is basically a one file that is being duplicated by Facebook. I'm clicking on it. You can see our data feed is being uploaded and it will take time depending on the data. While we are waiting for the field to be uploaded, let's move back to the application. Now click on view. You can see all the products here, select all and click on bulk edit if you want to edit them in bulk form. And here are the filters, you can apply any filter over here. And here you can customize the columns like whatever you require. You can also edit any product separately by clicking on edit. You can make any changes over here like in title, in product description, in product images, in product labels, etc. So this was all about the product feeds. Now let's move back to the commerce manager. You can see the file is finally uploaded here. I'm clicking on it. 
768 products are uploaded and 91 products are not uploaded. It also tells the reason why those products are not uploaded. 91 products are not uploaded because the description is missing. You can also view the products in items as well. You can see all the products are here and all the details regarding the products are here. So this was all about Infinite Facebook Catalog Feed app. I hope now you have got the idea of how to set up it. Thank you for watching this video.